Good morning, everyone. I hope you're well uh, and uh, looking forward to uh, the celebration of Christmas, uh, even in the midst of strange, difficult and uh, troubling times. Uh, we still have this hope that we share together and that we look forward to celebrating uh, on Friday. And we will do that, uh, God willing, in church at half past ten on Friday morning. We will be meeting together briefly, just be half an hour probably, uh, but to celebrate together uh, as a church family. Uh, and you're welcome to, to join us uh, in that. And it will be live streamed as well and available for you um, throughout the day whenever you get a chance to, to see it. Um, also, just a reminder of uh, something that's happening tomorrow evening on Facebook. If you go to Tear Fund Northern Ireland's Facebook page, nine o'clock tomorrow evening, you'll be able to join a special hymn time uh, with Jonathan Ray and uh, a number of other people uh, that's been prepared, especially, and I encourage you to, to, to join with that uh, if you can. It'll be, it'll be a great event and something to really lift the spirits. Um, let me just read to you from uh, Luke chapter 2. Uh, we're going through this passage this week. And let me read just verses 8 to 12. And in the same region there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. Shepherds. They are the, the characters, if you like, in our uh, Christmas story, in our Christmas nativity plays. They are, um, you know, the, 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 the little boys with the tea towels on their heads and the, the, the fluffy sheep under their arm. And that's what we kind of tend to picture uh, as our first image when we think of the shepherds. That's not who they were. Um, these were tough and uh, fairly uncompromising men. Uh, they were taking the night watch. That probably means there were maybe four of them, three or four of them, uh, taking each watch of the night. You know, while the others rested and slept, one of them stayed awake uh, to take care of the sheep. But as well as being tough, and uncompromising and, and um, you know pretty um, pretty sturdy guys who were willing to to um, to I suppose fight the drop of a hat they were utterly irreligious utterly disreputable they had a terrible terrible reputation among the community at large they were known for being dishonest and untrustworthy uh, their word could not be taken in a court of law. Their evidence was uh, unacceptable. Uh, these shepherds were more than likely the hired help. They were the kind of labourers who would pass through towns and villages just looking for casual labour wherever they could get it and they weren't really that, um, that welcome in the places that they went to. Uh, but they were recognised as being necessary, if you like. And it's to these men that God sends his angel. It's to these men that the news of the birth of Messiah is broken first. And the news comes to them through the angel. And we're told in, in Luke's account, the glory of the Lord shone all around them and they were filled with fear or they were terrified and of course they were terrified you and I would be terrified at the appearance of an angel and uh, the sudden glory of the Lord 
shining around us in the middle of the darkness of a Bethlehem night. But these men had extra reason to be terrified. These sinful, disreputable, untrustworthy, immoral shepherds are suddenly confronted with the glory of Yahweh in the middle of the night. This cannot be good. Because when the glory of the Lord confronts sinful people, generally, it means one thing. They fear for their lives. Isaiah in the temple. And Isaiah was a priest. He was a trustworthy kind of a guy. When he saw the glory of the Lord in the temple, fell on his knees uh, and, and cried, cried, woe to me for I'm a sinful man. I've seen the glory of the Lord. This is, this is it. This is the end. So these guys who were in social rank way down the bottom of the ladder compared to Isaiah were right to be terrified. This can't be good. But it is good. It's good news. It's good news for all people including and perhaps especially the kind of people who would have been shepherds on a Bethlehem hillside in the middle of the night. Because Jesus comes into the world not to call people who are self-satisfied and self-righteous, but to call people who know they are sinners in need of a saviour. At the beginning of his ministry in Luke, in Luke chapter 5, he makes it clear, I've come not to call uh, the the respectable and the righteous but the sinners it's not the, the healthy who need a doctor it's the sick and Jesus has come to call the people who know that they're sinners who know that they need a saviour and the good news is that the saviour is born the saviour has arrived news we all need to hear whoever we are however respectable we might think ourselves to be, we know in our heart of hearts that the, the face we put on is not the real us, that we have this sin lurking in our lives. And we know if we've messed things up badly and everybody knows how badly we've messed things up, we know that we need a saviour. We need a rescuer. This is news we all need. And this news, this good news that we all need to hear does not come from the places of power in this world. It does not come from Washington or London or Brussels or Beijing. It comes from Bethlehem. It comes from little out of the way Bethlehem where God lies in an animal trough in the filth and in the dirt, wrapped in swaddling clothes and here to rescue you and me. What a great gospel we have, what great good news we have. And I trust that you hold on to that good news this Christmas time. God bless.